hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're just joining my name is mocha jewels um for those who have subscribed to my channel from the from the jump i went from just jewels to mocha jewels because i just wanted to keep the flow going with my um instagram name so i don't know it, it's just like a ring to it so i changed it to mocha jewels but anyways if you like this content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and also comment below on anything that you would like to see from me next. So, um, this, today's video was kind of nerve wracking to be honest. You know, I'm just like using my hands because I'm like so nervous. I'm like nervous, but I'm like excited at the same time. Um, because, you know, this is definitely a different thing for me. As you can tell from the title of this video I shave my hair um I did wanted to start off with a wig you know just just so that you know I don't know I just wanted to start off with a wig and then I wanted to give you guys you know the reveal so anyways I do have like backstories to everything well to what I did because a lot of people feel like when a woman cut her hair she's um you know she did it for change which is kind of true um or that she's going through something but you know the disclaimer i am not going through anything it was basically time for a change so um before i you know do the reveal um i'm gonna give you guys like a backstory as to what led up to me you know shaving it all off so um Basically, growing up, I never had problems with hair. Like, I've always had a head full of hair because um, it's really genetics for me. Like, my grandma, my mom, my sister, it all, you know, goes down. We all have a lot of hair. Well, well, I know I, I had a lot of hair. But, um, so, it's basically a lot of hair is genetics. So, anyways, I basically, you know, I'm, like, so nervous. So, I'm just, like but please 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 continue watching because i'm just like trying to get the flow in so basically i was natural until i was in freshman so um growing up you know having a head head full of hair um you know it's it was a great thing because you know it's like oh my god you have a lot of hair but you know when you're for me it was basically being dark skin and having a head full of hair so I used to get bullied a lot in school because, you know, especially for my skin color, I was getting bullied a lot. And then the simple fact that I had natural hair, basically, you know, it was not attractive at that time. So, um, like, at the end of eighth grade, going into my freshman year, I told my mom, basically I threatened my mom. I was like, listen, I need a perm. And she was like, no, I'm not perming your hair. And I'm like, no, I'm not going into high school without, um, you know, getting my hair relaxed. Because basically that's, that was what's in straight hair. And my mom was just like, no, 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 no. So I literally like begged her and I was like, please, 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 you know, give me a relaxer. Or else I'm not going to school on the first day. And she didn't give me a relaxer. And guess what I really did not go to school the my first day of freshman year because I refused to go to school and get bullied again you know for being black well not black but dark skin and having natural hair so basically so I did not go so my mom finally did give me that perm that relaxer yeah but at the end of the day, I still was getting bullied because of my skin color but this is not a skin color video it's about being you know my natural hair so and that that'll probably be another video for another time we fast forward and i got pregnant 2015 and then 2016 that's when i lost my baby ari so after i lost ari um i didn't too much well that's when i decided to transition i decided to transition so i cut off all the perm and i was like you know i want to start over and i want to go back to being natural because it's not like I did not have any hair so maybe I can get the hair that I used to have from the beginning so I cut off the ends and I just started off fresh but I didn't cut it too short I just cut off the perm and everything was going good my hair was flourishing 
I don't know if it was the um, prenatal vitamins or anything like that, but I know my hair was flourishing beautifully. That, you know, I used to wear my high puffs and it was like thick and it was not thick, thick, but it was nice and, you know, it was to my liking. And I didn't, I never noticed that I was suffering from hair loss until like maybe about almost a year later. Yeah, about almost a year later, I started noticing that I was suffering from hair loss because I noticed that my high puffs, because me, I did, I'm not too much of a person who liked wearing weave and, you know, it would be like, like twice a year or maybe less than three times a year I will wear weave in my hair, but I always love wearing a bun or the high puff, you know, just a natural hairstyle. So I was always wearing my hair like that. So it... So about a year later, that's when I started noticing like a little bit of my hair was like disappearing, but it was not so big. It was just a little bit, but I guess at the moment I just didn't know what's going on. I'm like, maybe it's a phase or I just didn't too much pay attention to it. And then that's when one of, um, a friend of mine, she was doing my hair. Um, she was braiding my hair. And because I used to love getting braids. If it was not my natural hair, I, I love getting braids. So she was braiding my hair. And then she was telling me how she um, noticed that I was losing hair. And matter of fact, to be honest, that was not even a year later. Now that I think about it, that was about a few months after I lost Ari. Because that's when we went to Mexico. And she noticed that, you know, my hair was... You know, I was losing my hair. So she was telling me, you know, hey, take care of your hair. You know, here's what you could use and stuff like that. Because I do notice that you're losing some hair. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, for me, that I didn't too much like take it that serious. I took it very lightly, which I think I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have taken her serious. But I did, you know, use what she recommended me. I think it was like castor oil or something. I don't remember what it was, but she did, you know, give me something to, you know, use in my hair. I would use it every now and then. So anyways, so as time progressed, that's when my, that's when my puffs started like thinning out. It was not as, you know, puffy as I liked it from the beginning. So, you know, I didn't, you know, still didn't pay attention to it because I'm like, okay, whatever because my puffs were still looking I was still able to do my puffs I was still able to wear a bun it was just nothing that you know was stopping me from being able to do the certain hairstyles that I wanted so fast forward again 2018 I think yeah 2018 um I went to my friend's wedding in Orlando and I remember I was fixing my hair to do um, an, again, a natural bun. And, you know, it could be me wearing these buns, too, that was, str um, stressing out my scalp. That could have been a factor that helped it, you know, increase like that. So, I don't too much know. Because I wore buns, basically, all my life. Even when I had relaxed hair, I was always wearing buns. And I've never noticed any difference. But, I don't know. So... I noticed when I was getting ready to do my hair that that spot got even bigger. And I'm going to insert some pictures just so that you guys can see exactly as to what I'm talking about. So I remember asking my, my friend who had came with me and I'm like, do you notice like I'm losing hair? And she was like, yeah, because um, I think I had showed her before and she was like, but did I? You know what? I don't remember. But I remember that moment I showed her and she was like, you know, she noticed that I am losing hair there. And I'm like, you know, is it obvious? She was like, not really, but you do see it. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, it made me sad, but I'm like, you know what? I could still cover it. So I just kept covering it, you know, still rocking my buns, whatever, still trying to do my puffs, you know, fast forward. Um, that's when I started wearing, um, wigs and, you know, getting my hair done a little bit more often than usual because I wanted to reduce the stress that I was causing in my scalp, um, from the buns and the high puffs. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and just start wearing the wigs and the sew-ins. And, um, I even had did like twists in my hair. And when I did the twists in my hair, 
I noticed that I was using less hair than before because when I would get braids and stuff like that, I would use uh, like packs of hair, not, you know, packs, packs of hair, but like packs of hair. And then, but now this time around, it's like I was using less hair to do my hair. So, you know, of course, it was starting to get overwhelming and stressful because then you notice, I noticed that, you know, people were noticed, not people, but people who would touch my hair would notice. And I did limit um, those touching my hair to one person, well, one main person, um, because I was just so embarrassed and I was so self-conscious because every time someone would touch my hair, they would say, oh my God, you're losing hair. And to hear that all the time that, you know, you, you're being reminded that you're losing hair, it was just my self-esteem was just going low every single time. So I'm like, you know, no, I'm just going to have just this one person do my hair, you know, because she's seen my hair since, because I think I was going to this one main person since 2016, 17-ish. And she was the only person I was going to every year whenever I would get like installs, wig installs or, you know, sewings or whatever. And even my husband, you know, he was just like, as many times as he saw me being sad, he was just like, babe, cut your hair. Like, you know, maybe, you know, it'll help. And I'm like, cut my hair. You know, I would get defensive because I'm like, you telling me to cut my hair, stay in a man's place, stop coming in a woman's place or whatever. This is not your business. So, um, you know, he would constantly tell me and, I'm, and I would always get mad and defensive. I was like, stop telling me what to do and let me decide that myself. So, you know, it was something that I then began, you know, considering because I'm like, what am I holding on to? Um, what am I really holding on to? Because it was just like every time I would wash my hair, I was just, it would be like chunks of hair just falling out. And then I would, t I have pictures and I would always take pictures and I'm like, is there hair? Did hair grow? You know, I tried everything. It's to a point that I became a product junkie. Like, I have so much products because I was always trying different products to see exactly what would help my hair grow back. Um, and it's like the hair around was growing, but it's like the middle, it was just not coming back. And it's like nothing was helping me out. But everything else was just growing except that part. But it's for some reason, you know, I was trying to figure out exactly where the hair was coming from every time I was washing my hair. But I just did not know where it was coming from. And it's like every time I would look and it's like, you know, it was just nothing there, no hair there. And my scalp would be burning. It would be itchy out of nowhere. And it's like, it's like fire it was like somebody was just burning my scalp and I did not know what was going on and of course I could have went to go see a dermatologist but I think I allowed me being insecure about what was going on stop me from actually seeing a professional which I feel like I should have went but at the end of the day you know if there's no more hope you know I I have come to a place where I have accepted that and if there's hope, you know, I'm all for it. I finally realized it when my wedding day came around and, you know, the person who did my hair, you know, I, first of all, I told her I was embarrassed. I was like, I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of hair, you know, whatever. I'm kind of embarrassed. And she made me feel so comfortable and told me, you know, don't be embarrassed. You know, she see this all the time. And she, you know, was basically cheering me up and, you know, pushing me to go see someone. And she told me it does look like I'm suffering from alopecia due to, you know, the scarring that she saw. But she told me to go ahead and see a professional. When she, when she finally finished doing my hair, in my head, I'm like, you know what? Next year, I'm cutting it off. Like, I don't know when I'm going to do it. But I'm like, I am chopping this thing off because what? am i holding on to like is a is like that question just came back to me like what exactly am i holding on to so um i don't know i don't remember the exact date i will write it here somewhere but it was on a thursday and um my husband went away on a trip and i just woke up and i'm like today's the day today is the day I'm gonna cut my hair 
and he, I remember he he called me and I was like babe when you come back don't be shocked when you come back and I'm bald-headed <laughs> and he's like you're cutting your hair and I'm like I think I am and he was like are you sure and I was like I think I am I was like maybe I'm gonna do it I don't know but you know I was kind of iffy now that I spoke it out loud to him and I was like mm, now I'm reconsidering but then deep down inside I knew that's what I wanted to do so then um after we hung up I'm like I'm just fighting with myself I'm like no I have to I have to cut my hair and that's when I went to the bathroom I took the scissors and I sat right in front of the mirror and I'm like Julian, you could do this you could do this and I'm just like fighting with myself and I was like okay so I took I took one side of my hair and I'm like okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this so I took the scissors and I'm like I'm like, Lord, if my phone ring, that means it's not meant for me to do it. And my phone still did not ring and it did not ring at all. So I was like, okay, it's time for me to do it. So I took that scissors and I was like, just take the first step and I just cut. And I was like, wow. Okay. So because I cut this side, I have to cut this side. So I just, just cut and I just kept cutting and I cut lower 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 and I that was a moment for me I could have recorded it but for me it was just a moment where I was just letting go of you know this pain this hurt this baggage that I was holding on to and I was you know basically trying to let go of it and so, you know, I just kept cutting and I was like, you know what, let me go try to attempt to use a razor, child. I attempted to use that razor and, <laughs> and it went zoop. And I was like, okay, nope, this ain't, this ain't my job. This ain't for me to do. No, nope, no, sir. So, um, I text my husband's cousin because I've seen him um, cut hair. So I was like, hey, can you, are you in town? Can you please cut my hair? And then I explained to him what I've been going through. And then he was like, I'm coming down Saturday and I'm going to do it for you. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So, you know, the whole time I was home anyways. I did not step out or anything. So he finally came. Um, well, I did step out the day before he came down. And then, but I had thrown on a wig and call it a day. And then that Saturday he came and then he um, shaved off my hair for me, which I'm also going to insert a video, just a quick video that I had took because I had sent it to my best friend to show her exactly what was going on. So, um, yeah, so he cut my hair for me and y'all, to be honest, like when I had cut my hair before he even shaved it off, I broke down. I was crying. I became emotional. Um, but it was like for like a good minute or two. I was just like boohoo crying. I don't know why I was crying. It's just like the tears just came flowing down and I was just like crying. But you know, for me, it was just more so of a liberating moment. And it was just, I felt so free. I felt like I released everything. And it was just like, oh, I don't know. It, it's just an indescribable feeling. But I know I felt good. And it was just like more so like of a breath of fresh air. Like, this is it. Like, here's to new beginnings. And so when he shaved my hair, I I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not like such a confident, high confident person. And I've always battled with low self-esteem here and there. Because, you know, growing up of me getting bullied or whatnot. But I was okay with how I look. But... When he, after he cut my hair, I don't know. It was just like a boost of confidence for me. Like, I'm like, honey, who's coming for me now? Like, who checking for me? I just felt so good. I, even though there's like, you know, bald spots, there's like a bald spot and then that's like a little patch on the side. I felt okay with it. And I'm like, I am beautiful. Like, I feel like my features, and I know you guys probably like, okay, girl, stop talking and hurry up and take off your wig so we can see it. But, you know, I just want you guys to understand my thought process and my feelings before I show you guys because, you know, maybe to me, I'm looking fine or whatever. Like, you know, I love it. But <laughs> y'all probably be like, damn, girl, throw on that wig back on. But who cares? I don't care. 
So anyhow, so after I had cut off my hair, which this is like one of the last things that I want to tell you guys before I show you guys how I look. I did save my hair. I saved my hair and I put it in a bag. And I put it in a Ziploc bag. And see, oh, matter of fact, the date is right here. So I cut my hair off January 21st. And in this bag, I titled it New Beginnings. And I know you guys can't see, but I titled it New Beginnings. And I also wrote a affirmation and I said, I affirm that my hair will grow back and flourish beautifully. And, you know, I am manifesting that. I am praying about it. And like I said, if it doesn't happen, I'm okay. I'm definitely okay with that. Um, I'm okay with this change and I'm good. Like... I'm, I'm good and if it do praise God praise the Lord <laughs> hallelujah because you know that that is this is something that I've been praying for for my hair to get back to where it used to be my aunt done sent me some medication that has worked for her that I'm gonna use to wash my hair and see if that helps um, like I said I am gonna go see a dermatologist I'm going to continue oiling my scalp. I'm going to do what needs to be done, but I'm limiting the type of stuff that I put in my hair um, for this journey. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you know, if I do see any progress, I will record and I will shoot a video to show you guys, um, you know, my progress or my testimony, I guess. Um, so that maybe if I find something that helped me, I could, you know, spread the word so that it can help somebody else who's also suffering from hair loss, um, any type of hair loss. So I know you guys are ready for the big reveal, which I'm so nervous to show ya. But anyways, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> okay. I just have to gas myself up before I show ya. Okay. All right, you guys ready? All right, I think I'm ready now. All right, so here's the big reveal. What do you guys think? I don't threw my wig on the floor. See? See? I done cut it all, brush cut. I mean, and then I'm talking about here is where I suffer from the hair loss. And I, right here. I mean, here it looks like hair is coming back over here. But the middle part, I don't too much know what's going on. I hope you guys can see. But that's where I suffer the hair loss from. And, um, I don't know. I, listen, I'm feeling myself. You hear me? Y'all don't see me. Do y'all see me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like so infatuated with myself. I'm confident. I feel so beautiful. Like I feel amazing. I feel relieved. I feel like I can accomplish anything that I, you know, just go ahead and do. Because for me, you know, putting that step forward and just, you know, cutting it all off made me realize that I can do whatever I just go ahead and go forward and do. Like, you know, like... It's hard. It may be hard. I feel like it's hard. But once I did it, it became easy. I'm hoping that, you know, this video can motivate someone. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, you guys can share your story with me down in the comments below. I am here. DM me if you don't want no one to, you know, see your comment. Like, I, I'm willing to be that support for anyone who has a story because I know going through hair loss is nothing easy at all like that thing messes with your self-esteem to the fullest and well for me and you know if you need that confidence well not confidence if you need that motivation if you just need a listening ear I am here um for me it's like I'm really not my hair like I am not my hair. <laughs> like, I really had to realize, like, I'm not my hair. Like, I'm really not my hair. And I should not let hair define who I really am. Like, y'all, I 
really don't know what else to say but i hope you guys love it as much as i do i am like so happy um to be honest i don't think yet that i'm going to wear it um yet out because you know i just don't i'm not ready to ask the questions because you know it's, it's gonna be that one person who's going to say oh my god you have a ball spot what happened you know or oh my god you know oh my god and i'm just not ready to as as confident as i am of how beautiful that i feel because trust me i i feel great but I just don't want to go through that process of answering questions constantly because someone wants to, you know, ask, ask as to what's really going on or are you okay? Why did you cut your hair? You know, and all that extra stuff. So not yet. I'm not ready to walk out and wear my hair. I'm going to throw on wigs, but trust me, as soon as I, sometimes when I get in the car, I just throw off the wig or when I come inside my house, I throw off the wig. Um, my husband, he loves it. He loves rubbing on my head all the time. Like, he, like, looks at me. I mean, he was always infatuated with me. Um, but let me tell you. Let me tell you, okay? Like, now it's like the way he looks at me, he's just, like, mesmerizing. He just constantly keeps telling me how beautiful that I am. So, you know, this is life-changing for me. And I'm just, like, so happy. So, I know I rambled a lot and I hope that you guys stick through this video to see my big reveal. And I hope, like I said, I hope you guys love it. And if you don't, it's okay. I'm not offended by it. But um, if you have a story, please leave it in the comments below. If you know of any great dermatologists in Broward County, Florida, leave it in the comments below. Or you can DM me if you have any tips or tricks of how I can, you know open up these follicles and get this hair growing leave it in the comments below somebody else may see it and it can help them as well but go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and also subscribe and also share this video um and honestly i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys on my next video bye